The Notion gallery view is great and it's actually one of my favourite features in Notion but one of the limitations of it is that you can't swipe between different images on the same page without using complex filters or doing some sort of hacky trick. Now luckily Indify have just released a plugin that will allow you to swipe between different images on Notion and in this video we're going to take a look at some really valuable use cases for this feature and how you can incorporate it into your Notion workspace. Hey guys, how's it going? For those new to the channel, my name's Tom and here we talk about Notion and productivity. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe and you're going to be notified when I release new weekly videos. Today we're going to talk through the Indify Gallery widget. First I'm just going to show you how you can really easily set it up before diving into three different use cases that I find really valuable. So let's get into it. So first let's take a look at the setup and all you're going to want to do is log into indify.co and select the option to use a gallery widget. I should mention this is a pro feature so if you're on the basic plan you're going to have to upgrade to get access to this. Now when it comes to actually putting the widget together it's really intuitive. I think the guys at Indify they've done a really good job of just making this a very easy feature to use. So what you want to do is just upload your different images that you want to appear in the carousel and then you also have a load of other really sort of well thought out options. You get to choose the background colour so you can match this with the light or the dark mode on Notion. You can also choose different options for the image sizing. I personally at the moment just using contain but you can sort of wrap it around a certain size. And then you can also choose whether you want to show the dots underneath the carousel or not. And then when you finish playing around with the widget, it's literally just a case of copy and pasting the code into Notion, resizing it, and you're good to go. Honestly, it takes about two minutes to set up. So yeah, really good job from the guys at Indify. I think they've, they've made this a really sort of easy to use and accessible feature. So let's take a look at some of the use cases that I've put together for this feature because uh, I actually think that I've found uh, a couple of ways that have made this more innovative than just having a gallery. Um, so the first thing is in my dashboard, I've actually put in this idea that I now can swipe between different modes. So I have focus, rest and play. And the reason I've done this is because if you've watched some of my, my other videos, You'll often know that I talk about how I can find Notion actually really distracting. I can play around with Notion for hours at a time and it's really not that productive for me. I mean, I should be making videos, I should be doing my work. And this really helps me to just distinct between this is a time when I'm meant to be using Notion to work, so I should just be going in here to look at different tasks. This is a time where I can maybe play around with Notion a bit more and give myself a bit of um, you know, freedom and flexibility to just see what's working. And then when I'm in the rest mode, this is a reminder that I actually probably shouldn't be in Notion at all. So if I put this on rest mode, maybe at like eight o'clock in the evening and I come into Notion and I see that straight away, it's just a good reminder for me that actually, do I wanna be in Notion? Probably not, I should probably be chilling out, reading a book or something like that. So I really do think this is great because there's no other way that you can get these kind of like modes or reminders um, so easily. And I think probably my favorite use case actually of the Indify widget. Okay, so the next use case and probably the most obvious one for me when I found out about this feature is inserting this um, sort of custom widget onto a landing page that you might have on Notion or any website. So how I've got this set up at the moment is on my uh, templates uh, landing page where by the way, I'll link a template to the uh, feature that I just showed you where you can have the sort of different um, moods on the Notion homepage in here. Um, I just added in a little sort of image so that when people sign up to get my Notion templates, they can also have a flavor of the different uh, templates that I offer. So I just put in a screenshot of three of my different templates, put them in here, and it really just lifts the landing page, I think, to the next level. Because one of the limitations about using Notion to create websites or landing pages is that you don't really get these cool like carousel um, images that you might have if you used, you know, even like a Squarespace or a, a WordPress site. Uh, so just really a, a nice thing to have and I'd fully recommend like if you've got a, a sort of public Notion page that people are accessing, putting in the Indify uh, widget here and adding a little carousel is really just going to take your page to the next level. 
So the final way that I use this in Defy Widget, and this is more of a fun, silly one really, but in my uh, Notion I currently have a folder that I call Inspiration, and as you can see in here I have like different art that really stands out to me, uh, different imagery that just sort of gets me going when I'm feeling in a bit of a low mood, and I just thought it would be really cool to use the Indify widget to add a, a sort of carousel of inspirational uh, figures. So at the moment I've got in here, you know, I've got Kendrick Lamar, Frank Ocean, uh, Nassim Taleb, just people who really stand out to me as either being like great artists or great thinkers. And this is just a nice place to come to get a bit of inspiration when I'm feeling a little bit low energy. You know, not as sort of practical maybe as some of the other things that I've shown you, but definitely something um, really just uh, nice to have. So thanks a lot, I hope you've got some value out of that and sort of seeing how this Indify widget works. I'm also gonna leave a playlist here which will take you to my other Notion guides and you might also wanna check out the video that I've done on Indify's first release which included I think a calendar widget, uh, a weather widget and a couple of others um, but really definitely worth checking out. Right now though, I've got to get this awful lid sorted out because it's been about uh, four or five weeks since I've managed to get it cut because we've had a lockdown here. But thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.